Matrix is playing games with me, of course. Let's see if I can get through this. So, if you can see here, Eliza Saffer has been banned from Facebook and Instagram. He's also from uh, the Next News Network. And he was a journalist that went there on the scene. So apparently, he's a, uh, how would I say, a conservative and a threat. Because he's a normal wed pillar, right? Still a wed pillar, nonetheless. <clears throat> nonetheless, somehow. I saw that 33 when I said somehow. When when I was saying that, like it was vilification. I swear to God, you know how when you see something and it like stops? Yeah. Like uh, two swords classing warriors in the adrenaline. They uh, classing against each other. Yeah, I saw that 33. It stopped for an extra second or so. Yeah, I know why. Sickening. Um, Matrix is still wound. People, people came and see it. People came and expose it like I can. Uh, Matrix hates me too. By the way, it's obvious. It's been obvious for some time. I, I can't believe it. It, it stole money for me. You know, it, it made me live like crap. You know, back to what? So, got a normal web puller. So came and speak about the alien, Lumai, dark cabal entities, and the censorship of. Science technology and UFOs and aliens from other worlds. Um, they don't want everyone to know, apparently. And it seemed like these people in their bubbles, and they can't get out of the bubbles, would gladly oblige. They would gladly allow such treachery to take place to truth and justice for the humans, apparently. So I don't think a lot of these people are humans. Even the one that owned the channel, I ain't going to diss on anyone um, per personally uh, with the channel. I ain't going to talk about that sit per se right now. I'm going to get the video out, and maybe another time I might speak about some specifically, someone specifically. But uh, I ain't going to talk shit about Elijah um, per personally. Um, actually, he just says what he needs to say and get done with it. That's all I know about him anyway. So, I couldn't, anyways, but I know some of these people that I'm subscribed to, oh man, I will be making videos about them specifically no matter what. People think we living on a ball earth that spins. Are you serious? That's so stupid. It's not even fucking funny. We're clearly living in some type of alien matrix, prison planet. Regium, zoo, library, circuits, farm, and we humans are the farm animals, and, well, even the wet pillars are, um, these, uh, farm, farmers, and farm animals, so they even outwank people like me, no wonder I'm the only human around, so, yeah, <clears throat> that's how it is, this is a pleasant planet, museum, zoo, Library, circuits, farm, so on and so forth, right? It's sickening. I'm the only one that say these things. And, um, I wonder why. I wonder why I'll be the only one that says these things specifically. <sighs> I had to change my name from MGTOW, the part that says MGTOW, mean going the own way. Uh, to full-blown human representative because I'd be wondering where is my human weights? Why am I being torn from them? And why am I not allowed to represent my weights anyways, specifically? So I got weird MGTOW label anyways. Men going their own way. Um, it doesn't say human men going their own way or human straight white men going their own way. It just says um, men going their own way. Um, it's a philosophy. But apparently it lies, right? And I don't want to accidentally give my whites over anyways. So I changed my name to be Wet Pilled Warrior Human Representative. Even though I said Human Representative along with MGTOW before when I start a video. But now I'm just like, pfft, you know, there's so much stuff going on. And I'm actually trying to make some video content more and more. But since my live stream got taken down... I cannot live stream anymore. Oh, not because YouTube. <laughs> oh, no. No. I haven't had a copyright strike from them ever since they took my channel down, I don't think. 
I had another one uh, after that. And I wonder why, because they probably scaled if they did interfere with humans any more than they already have. But back to what it was. Um, but yeah, it was uh, because of Matrix. And my sound got my laptop, my sound stereo device inside got fucked up. And uh, ever since then, I could not be able to uh, do a live stream, um, apparently. And uh, I hate to fiddle around with it, honestly. Because it might go insane. And I don't want to go insane. But yeah, if I had to say who's the web pillars, it's me, the only human web pillar, super web pillar, I mean. I meant specifically a super web pillar who is a cut above the West, who speaks about any and all things that need to be speaking about, right? Um, sadly, I had to put Drake Bailey down second below the list. Uh, I mean, at the end of the list, I meant. Let me uh, clarify this, okay? Because <clears throat> I'm a little over place right now. So, I'm the human representing super web pillar. Got it? Next is the alien Hydromanin. Yeah, Hydromanin alien representative Alex Caller. Third, it's the alien Pleiadian representative Kent Dunn. Uh, fourth, it's the space coming, I mean, uh, mixed wastes, I mean, uh, whatever goes, uh, I mean, uh, the E.T. Space Army Civil Legion uh, Tanith. Um, a lot of gays and say, who knows what. <clears throat> Even she says herself that she's a proud LGBTQ. I hope she's against P. And that um, I'm pretty sure she is, but still, nonetheless. It opens up to it, and I don't like that. Going too far. Um, will it keep Quill? Season 4 Quills? Oh my god. Um, well, anyway, back to what I saw. Um, <clears throat> um, what about lesbian fitting? Oh, man, I, I don't know about that. But back to what I was though. Um, and then, I think, um, uh, uh I want to say David Woodcock, um, who or whatever he is, Especially nowadays. You know, I heard from like Kent Dunn that he's uh, now a clone or whatever. Okay, whatever. Still represent more than Drake Bailey. <laughs> um, Drake Bailey can be quite noisy and talk about uh, martial law and gun violence and stuff. I understand. But David Woodcock really talks specifically here and there. Even though you roll your eyes with a lot of what David Woodcock would say. Um, he still kind of anchors in some perspective here and there more than ever nowadays. Like every now and again he has a uh, live stream or whatever. Wooly anchors in how everything might take place. <sighs> and also some biasness because I I really do not like how he goes about things. He's a Q. He commander of timelines. Apparently, he, he's somewhat bloated. So two bull sitters. I had to pick one of them, and it's David Ike. I met David Wilcock. I put David Ike behind Drake Bailey, maybe. Oh, and uh, last I can't forget uh, Corey Good. Hope this all got out there good enough, but I swear God, it was not desired to take place. The, oh my God. I know I deleted enough videos, by the way. Um, and then I had a good one. I had a great video started. I swear God. And it's because of Matrix, right? The evil Matrix and the controllers, the tall whites or whatever, whoever controls the moon, right? Um, clearly obvious. Just didn't like me speaking out about this type of stuff. Hell, they probably don't want me to make too many videos while this whole thing is taking place because 
it will just give me more platform in the future. Wank, maybe. Like, oh, I'd be looked up to, to being non-bullsitter or uh, empty-minded. <laughs> I'd be less empty-minded than most, um, potentially. And it can be very scary to have these ETs as empty-minded. Like like I said, you know, they can't, they can't go outside the bubble. It, no matter what they do, they can't do it. It's like they're missing some part of the brain or some shit. So... Yeah, humans gonna have to represent humans in the future, no matter what.